So with, cal with K2, there appears to be a role with calcium, a role with insulin resistance, and a role with inflammation. One of our recently released videos on K2 and artery calcification got a lot of attention. It wasn't all the good kind. I ended up saying, I hope this wasn't too confusing because I went around a couple of times. Bottom line was it was confusing and I think it was too confusing. So I'm going to try to clear up a couple of things in this video. Now, in order to clear those up, though, I think we have to start getting into an issue, uh, maybe a bigger issue of biology, and that is what we call pleiotropic roles. What are pleiotropic roles? We'll talk about them in just a minute. But the short version is it's multiple roles from the same thing. Now let's go back and understand uh, pleiotropics just a little bit more. Pleiotropic, if you look it up on Google, producing or having multiple effects. One of the key places that we see this in medicine is in genetics. We have pleiotropic genes. For example, the Marfan's gene. It creates long fingers, a thin body, misshapen chest, uh, mitral valve pro problems, joint problems, eye problems, a lot of things that may seem to be unrelated until you start going deeper. Now we all see this. You don't have to be a physician or a geneticist or any of that. You all see that. See this when you take simple medications, even including over-the-counter medications. Let's go back to something uh, most of us have known. Many of us, most of us have probably taken it. Good old-fashioned Benadryl, an antihistamine. It's given for anti-nausea. It's given for sleep. It's taken for anti-allergy medicine, of course. That's the most common use. It's also taken for inch and anti-itching. So again, multiple uses for that antihistamine, which um, until you begin to understand things a little bit better may seem unrelated. Well, <clears throat> with drugs, we often call these pleiotropic effects as quote side effects. Now, here's the other thing to, to think about. As I said, these, all these different effects may seem unrelated until you go a little bit deeper. For example, with Benadryl, oh, what's sleep got to do with anti-allergy and what's all that got to do with itching? All of that basically has to do with a thing called histamine. And this is an antihistamine. When it blocks histamine, it starts having all of these different effects, pleomorphic effects. With that, Marfan's gene, uh, Marfan's, the Marfan's gene changes the way the body makes connective tissue. Well, places where connective tissue is a big deal in terms of the shape of the chest, how long fingers are, eyes, um, the aorta, which can kill uh, Marfan patients at age 30, mitral valve, all of those things have to do with the Marfan gene impact on connective tissue. So we talked about pleiotropics, $5 word to basically mean multiple uses or multiple roles. Let's talk for a minute about the rest of this channel. This is not the first time we've mentioned pleiotropics. For example, uh, we've talked about pleiotropics with statins multiple times. Remember, most of the rest of the medical community prescribes statins for impact on cholesterol. I don't, usually. When I do use recommend use of statins, it has to do more with the pleiotropic mechanism, or what other people might consider the side effect, the impact of, of statins on cardiovascular inflammation. There's another place that I've mentioned a few times, but not that often, unless you've gone into some of our uh, cognitive decline, our Alzheimer's uh, videos. And it has to do with insulin. Insulin has significant pleiotropic effects. Uh, we, uh, we talk about insulin all the time on this channel, but it's mostly uh, the impact of insulin in the rest of the body. If you inject insulin into the nose, it will go past the blood-brain barrier. And once insulin goes past the blood-brain barrier and gets into the brain, it has a whole different set of mechanisms. Most of them are revolving around the hippocampus and 
the biological, biochemical mechanisms of memory formation. So again, biology can be a little bit complicated. Medicine can be complicating, but you know what? We need to understand some of these things if we're gonna do the best job for preventing heart attack, stroke, and obviously cognitive decline. So back to heart attack and stroke and K2. So what are some of these uh, different mechanisms for K2? Well, first of all, K2 carboxylates a couple of uh, enzymes that are very important in, in several processes here. Uh, one was that first enzyme that I, that I mentioned in this maybe botched presentation on artery calcification, MGP, uh, matrix GLA protein. The other enzyme that K2 carboxylates is osteocalcin. Now, we're starting to get a little bit technical here. I'm going to jump back up to about 30,000 feet and say, look, you see it in two or three places here. It activates those enzymes. Those enzymes we know have a lot to do with calcification of the bone and calcification of other tissue like plaque. Uh, look at the bottom line, the bottom line here. They also impact plasma glucose and insulin sensitivity. On the way there, there's an impact on inflammation. And, we meant, and it uh, impacts some markers that we've talked about multiple times, again, on this channel involving inflammation, AMPK, PPAR uh, alpha. So again, K2 has a few more effects and impacts than, uh, and roles than, than uh, I think w that we just don't completely understand yet. So another way, again, of looking at it is um, the, this is vitamin K, and this, this involves both K1 and K2. Um, it, it involves anti-inflammatory effect, regulation of adipokines, lipid lowering effect, calcium effect, insulin sensitivity effect. Lots of impact there. Lots of different roles. And um, again, if you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Thanks. So you've been asking about it. When's the CIMT access tour starting? Um, Anaheim, LA. September 28th, David uh, Mainz will be there with um, some with a CIMT tech. Uh, it's about 250 bucks for the whole afternoon, plus the CIMT, plus the reading on the CIMT. If you have uh, further interest, you can sign up at cardiorisk.us slash Ford.